And now, all the dirt, gardening tips and advice. Sponsored by Farm Credit, loans for farms, homes and land. Well, the leaves are falling and they're covering your yard, but before you start stuffing them in bags, Virginia Tech turf grass science expert Dan Sander is here to give us all the dirt on a better alternative to disposing those leaves. Welcome, Dan. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, happy to have you here. Um, so I, we tell us, why shouldn't we be raking our leaves into bags, right? What should we be doing instead? Right, well, there's a number of issues that may occur with raking leaves into bags. Uh, part of the problem is that our landfills can fill up with uh, unnecessary products and those actual spaces could be used for things like trash and other uh, disposable items. Um, additionally, raking leaves in a bag may be prohibited by your municipality depending on where you live. So you always want to check first in case there is an actual leaf uh, cleanup program in your community. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so instead of plastic, I get a I guess a better alternative would it be the like the paper. Yeah, any type okay. of biodegradable okay. or paper mm -hmm. bags um, would help, but you're also losing a lot of benefits. Um, by bagging your leaf clippings. Mm -hmm. um, but all together, if, if you don't want to do the bags, um, what should we be doing instead? Yeah, so there's a lot of good alternatives and the primary one is to mulch your leaves um, by mowing over them with, a, with your mower, um, whether you have a multi mower or just a standard rotary mower. Anytime you can shred those leaf clippings into smaller pieces, it adds free organic matter and fertilizer to the lawn. Yeah, so I actually, I went on my break and uh, I don't have a mower, but I have uh, one of those leaf blowers that also turns into a mulcher. And so we had plenty of leaves already. Yeah. And so I did a little mulching. Um, so how do these look to you? Is this, is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> they could probably be a little bit smaller, but uh -huh. I'm sure with the leaf blower uh, attachment, it did pretty good. Um, but anytime you can mulch those leaves into much finer pieces, um, will go a long way into getting them into the soil and easily broken down by soil microbes. And you kind of touched on it a little bit, but with all this, um, when you have all this mulch, why, why is it so beneficial to, to um, like, what should you be doing with them? Right, so there's a lot of uh, benefits to these leaves. Um, some research has demonstrated that they can provide free nitrogen to the soil. Um, other research has suggested that leaves contain some weed control activity. Um, but the, overall, for the purpose of keeping them out of the landfill and providing free organic matter, or some people like to mulch them and use them as compost for their gardens and landscape beds and other areas of their lard, yard. And when would be the best time to actually mulch your leaves? Right, so right now is actually the best time. You know, in the fall, the leaves mm -hmm. are, are uh, falling off the trees. Um, in terms of like a specific time, you know, you definitely don't want the uh, lawn to get too cluttered with leaves, but mm -hmm. anytime you have a light to moderate layer um, of leaves on the surface of the lawn, just go out and mow. Uh, one of the things you can consider is making sure they're a little bit wet or mm -hmm. moist or damp um, to allow them to shred a little bit easier without causing a lot of dust occurring. Oh. Um, but you also don't want them to be too wet, like right after a rain mm -hmm. um, or irrigation event, because that will clog down your mower, reduce the performance of your mower's engine. So a little bit on the damp side and a, just a moderate to light layer of leaves. If it gets too thick, you could have some issues in your lawn. Um, such as disease or reduced sunlight from hitting the turf. Yeah, so right now is actually when I went and did this outside, I realized, you know, this might actually be the perfect time because we're not too thick into the, the fall where it's like covered. There's just, there's still plenty on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I was also feeling, I was like, are they a little moist? Um, these are kind of dry, but they weren't too dry where I, I wasn't getting a lot of dust right. up in the air. And even if it is too dry, you know, that's just something that you might want to consider is that you may get a little dust uh, that comes out of the shoot. So. Mm -hmm. And so um, they're also um, beneficial to just leave the leaves on the ground. We've heard that, right? But you, like you said, there might be too many leaves on the ground. That can definitely happen. Right. Uh, you're absolutely correct. So think about in the sense of a large layer of leaves on the ground is actually blocking the beneficial sunlight that turf needs for photosynthesis and for many other plant processes to continue to grow and survive. You know, right now is the best time of year for our cool season lawns like fescues and bluegrasses to uh, be thriving and developing and growing. So we don't want to have too thick of a layer there that blocks the sunlight that plant needs for photosynthesis. Um, you also don't want to keep it on there too long in case if it, it does rain and keeps that moisture trapped mm -hmm. in the leaf canopy that can cause some uh, diseases in your lawn. Absolutely. I find it, I personally found it so interesting. Yeah. Um, when you have a lawn and you have all this uh, leaves on the ground, we have really great answers here today. Dan Sander, turfgrass science expert at Virginia Tech. Thanks so much for giving us all the dirt today on mulching leaves. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Stick around. WFXR News at noon. We'll be right back.